Dear students, as you already know that there are three sources of variations in biological sequences. The first one is the insertion of a nucleotide or amino acid. The second is the deletion of a nucleotide or amino acid. And the third case is the substitution of an amino acid or nucleotide with some other amino acid or nucleotide. Such substitution is called mutation and we are going to discuss this in this module. So, as I just mentioned, the insertions and deletions or simply indels are addition or removal of a nucleotide or an amino acid from the protein or DNA sequences respectively. So, what can we do in case of a mutation? So, if a mutation occurs in one sequence while you are trying to compare it with another sequence, that mutation needs to be catered. So, let's see how we can deal it. So simply, the mutation can be of two types. One is in the case of proteins where an amino acid is replaced by another amino acid. The second case is the DNA or the RNA where a nucleotide is replaced by a different nucleotide. So while aligning mutations, what we need to do as shown here is unlike the insertions and deletions, we do not insert a gap. In the template or the target. What we simply do is we take two sequences here and we can observe that these two sequences they differ here and the rest of it is conserved in both cases. So this portion is actually sourced from a substitution wherein T has been substituted by G and how do we represent it? Simply write them on top of each other. So here as you can see this portion is the substituted or the mutated nucleotide. Another very important thing to consider at this point is that in the evolutionary process, certain amino acids are more easily substituted by certain other amino acids. Similarly, certain nucleotides may be more conveniently uh, substituted by the other nucleotides. Whereas, there may be a situation where the probability of a certain nucleotide being replaced by a certain other nucleotide is very small. In case of proteins, this can be summarized as follows. So here, I've listed all the 20 amino acids for you. And the example that I'm going to discuss here is the replacement of an acidic amino acid with another acidic amino acid. So the acidic amino acids are shown here in the table. So the probability of an acidic amino acid replacing another acidic amino acid is high as compared to the replacement of an acidic amino acid with a basic amino acid. So the basic amino acids are shown here. So uh, it's quite interesting to observe that if one amino acid is substituting another amino acid, then we may be able to uh, grade that substitution or score that substitution. So this is a very important message and I would like to just revise it here for you once more that certain amino acids are replaced during evolution by certain other amino acids easily while it is difficult for some other amino acids to replace that specific amino acid such as the replacement of acidic amino acid with a basic amino acid. So this is difficult while replacement of an acidic amino acid with an acidic amino acid is quite convenient and is more possible. So in conclusion, the in indels or insertions and deletions are dealt with the insertion of a gap in either the template or the target while in case of mutations or substitutions, we simply write the two nucleotides or amino acids on top of each other and score them with a gap penalty. More so, these substitution penalties vary depending on 
the nucleotide or the amino acid with which the original amino acid or nucleotide is substituted.